guys and welcome to my art channel. My name is Blanca and today I am going to be showing you step by step how I draw flowers using an ink brush such as these flowers that are in this illustration that I made. Okay, so we are going to be drawing this flower down here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the general shape of the flower. So the top is definitely a round shape. And then I do a triangular shape coming down like this. Then the next thing I do is from the edges, I start making petal shapes. So I am just going around the edge and just making petals along the way. And instead of going from one to the next, I like to jump around. So I'll jump around over here and start doing this petal right here. And you really don't have to be perfect about this. Making a sort of flower where it can have imperfections. Imperfections only make it look more interesting, but just as long as you have the general shapes of the lines making those petals and the lines kind of going towards the middle. I am now just drawing some of the parts in the middle. Like I missed this part, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the edge, but also kind of make it a little point, like a petal would have. And then this triangular shape, we're just gonna make it more into the stem of your flower. So with my ink brush, I am now going to outline this. And this is my favorite ink brush. If you want to know what it is, I'll link it down below. Now I will just be outlining my petals. I like to kind of have a sort of loose brush stroke because I think it makes drawings look more interesting whenever it's more of a loose, not so structured, not so strict ink style. Inking is really one of my favorite ways to draw because I love the contrast of the very dark black with the white background. I love the interesting effect that contrast has on paintings. And what I'm doing right here is just hatching which is I'm, I'm making very thin lines and putting them very close to one another to create a sort of shadow effect. And I actually have a past video on some of my inking tips and I will also link that. Also adding little details such as little lines here and there can make your drawing have a little bit more variety and a little bit more looseness. So now I am going to be showing you how you can take these steps to keep making other flowers to go along with this one to incorporate with other drawings. So I'm going to be doing the same steps, but this one I'm going to make it more like you're seeing it from the side rather than the top. So I'm going to make this triangular shape a little bit longer and going from the edges, I'm going to start making some petal shapes like this. So I'm following the rule of dragging the petal lines down towards the middle. Now before you erase anything, I think it's really important to draw the line that you actually want to end up with and then once you're satisfied with your line, then you erase the past mistakes. Because if you erase as soon as you make a mistake, you don't have anything to go go off of. So now, as you can see, this is more of a side view of it, but it's following a general rule. It's just, but you're letting less of the petals show from the top and more from the side. And I'll make another one down here a little bit smaller. We're gonna have a circle, have the triangle kind of come down here, right here. I'm just making the petals again. Really 
And to fill in the space between flowers, I really like to add little details and little branches and little... And in this part, you can really just kind of free draw when it comes to leaves and stuff because leaves, they really don't have to be any certain shape. Okay, so now I am just going to outline this just like the other flower. And you want to draw the petals that you want to be on top of other ones first. I really like this type of loosely drawing because I find it really therapeutic. And to add some contrast to this, I like to color some of the background just completely black. So at the end, I just add a couple of little lines here and there, kind of some imperfections. And in black and white drawings, I like to have as much black as I have white for it to be balanced with ink drawings especially. And I will now erase the pencil marks to see how it, the drawing looks in the end. So this is my finished painting of my flowers. Thank you so much for watching. I do sure hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe for more art videos. I am just starting out on YouTube, so your subscription would mean a whole lot. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!